for joining in. We need to get to an important story now because sources tell CNBC TV 18 that the online gaming companies could get a breather as the government is likely to soften its stance on GST demand notices. Uh, my colleague Tim C is picking up these details, joins us on the phone line. Tim C. Well, as you rightly said, what sources are indicating to us is that the government is likely to soften its stand on the retrospective GST demand notices that were sent to online gaming companies. Remember, these were the demand notices that were sent to online real money gaming companies. About 71 such show cause notices worth 1 lakh 12,000 crore rupees have been sent in the financial year 23-24. And the government had challenged the Karnataka High Court's order quashing the 21,000 crore rupees of GST demand on games craft in Supreme Court. And now what we are learning is that the government is likely to soften its stand. Government has realized that the uh, existential issue of gaming companies, that is, if they have to pay the GST demands uh, pertaining to this period, that seems to be a little, you know, unrealistic. And government is likely to have sought a legal opinion also on the way or uh, way out for this tussle between the online gaming companies and the government. Uh, also, government is now seeing the merit in the argument that a company cannot pay something which is unrealistic, a tax demand like 21,000 odd crore rupees, 20,000 odd crore rupees. And thus, this particular issue is drawing some sort of a discussion and attention within the North Bloc as to what could be a practical solution to this. Let's see what happens finally when court hears this matter, this, because yeah. all these uh, matters which were in all the high courts have now got clubbed in the Supreme Court under the SLP that the government has filed. Absolutely, Tim C. Thank you very much. So interesting development there. Maybe, maybe some sort of, uh, not a rethink, but some sort of deliberation uh, within uh, uh, North Block on uh, what kind of demands would perhaps be uh, actually tenable because in many cases the demands for instance Gamescraft the demand was in excess of 21,000 crores and uh, it ends up being a lot more than the market capitalization or the net worth of the company as well so uh, perhaps we need to hear more on this in fact 